as we gather for this time of communion together. It's actually a very simple meal. It was a meal that was something that Jesus has gathered his disciples around. And really the elements within communion is not really special, at least not from my understanding. There's nothing extraordinary about them. There's nothing supernatural about them. It's a piece of bread. It's a cup of juice in our case. And so when Jesus gathered his disciples, it was part of a larger promise. He was reminding them that whenever you take this bread and whenever you take this cup, he said to them, remember me. Remember what he was about to do. We commemorate that through Good Friday and through Easter Sunday. But every once in a while, we gather together. And we take this bread and we take this cup. And really, it's not just whenever we gather together as a church, as a body of Christ, to take the bread and the cup. Really, Jesus says, whenever you take any bread, whenever you drink anything, remember the promise that I've made with you. That because of his death and his resurrection, we have the forgiveness of our sins. Jesus made it available that we can actually be with him. We can actually be reunited with God. And so this time together is for anyone who says that they are willing to follow Jesus. This is a time for us to gather. And as we take this, we remember the promise that he makes. And we're reminded of this commitment. And so for those of you who say that you have said yes to Jesus, that you've said that you are willing to follow Jesus at any cost, we welcome you to take this. And for some of you who are not yet taking that step yet, maybe you don't feel you're ready, maybe you still have a lot of questions, that's okay. And even in this time, know that Jesus has invited you to this table as well to observe, maybe ask, later to ask questions with those around you who have taken this. But this is a moment for all of us who say that we will follow Jesus at any cost to remember his sacrifice and the promises he's already kept and the promises to come. And so on the night that he was betrayed, Jesus took bread and then he broke it and he passed it to the disciples. And he said to them, when you take this, remember me. Let's pray together. Jesus, you gave yourself to us. You gave your whole self. You held nothing back because you considered us worthy of this gift. Not because we did anything to earn it, not because we deserve it, but because God, you created us and you want to be in relationship with us. So Jesus, we thank you. We thank you that this is the body given to us and together we take it. So this is the body of Christ given to you. He says, when you take it, remember me. Later, as part of their meal, Jesus took a cup. And he said to them, take this, drink it. And remember the covenant that God has established between himself and his people. And when you drink it, remember me. Remember the sacrifice, the forgiveness of sins available to anyone who wants to receive it. And so let's pray together. Jesus, with his cup, which represents your blood, which represents the penalty for sin. You remind us that when we take it together, 
we remember your sacrifice on the cross. We also remember your resurrection. We remember that you have conquered all through this gift. So as we take it, as we take it together, we remember you. Jesus said, this is my blood shed for you. And when you drink it, remember me. And so whenever you take this bread or any bread, or whenever you're drinking this cup or any cup, remember the one who came, who walked alongside you, the one who was willing to sacrifice himself to die on a cross, the one who was resurrected, reminding us of his deep love for you, for me, for all his creation, and that this gift is available to all. We remember this today.